Thank you for joining us for our one-on-one style webinar series for the Molly Coat Lubricants. In today's session, we'll highlight two case studies that speak to the benefit of Molly Coat use in real applications. This will allow you to understand where and when to use and select the right solution. Today's session will be led by me, Kaku Ansa, Product Manager for Molly Coat Lubricants at ChemPoint, and William Fick, a lubricant applications engineer for DuPont and the Molly Coat Performance Lubricants. Let's get started. First, we'll be speaking about a customer who had issues with maintenance on their sliding runners and kiln seals in a cement operation. A kiln seal is an auxiliary equipment for rotary kilns, rotary cooler, and rotary dryers. These are widely used in cement, building, material, mining, chemical, and other industries. By managing kiln health, you could help avoid issues like hot bearings, kiln cracks, wear on rollers, and lining failure. It's best to be preventative to avoid serious damage and the downtime that can become expensive. Let's talk about the operational parameters or LETs. Load high with shock loading, environment, outdoors, dusty, temperature, negative 40 to 130 C, speed up to 1.5 meters per second, process description, centralized lubricant system, lubrication on the sliding surface. So what's the issue? The grease that they had been using was quickly oxidizing from constantly being heated to the 130C and exposed to debris and dust. There was wear on the con contacting plate. As a result, the kiln seal was failing, resulting in debris and dust being emitted into the atmosphere. The grease they had been using could not withstand the high temperature and the abrasive dust particles. So what do they need? They need a grease that can withstand high load, constant high heat, and work well in the debris-filled environment. The solution, the Mollico BR2 multi-purpose grease. This product provided good adhesion, wear, and corrosion protection, and long-term stability. It also contains solid lubricants. It provides re resistance to degradation from constant heating, and is suitable for long-term lubrication. The solid lubricants, form a thin layer on the contacting surface, reducing their wear. When using grease with solid lubricants, the seal replacement service life was extended from six to 24 months, redu reducing maintenance, downtime, and equipment costs. Now, Will Fick will go over a scenario relating to desalination. This customer application was for sealing and seawater reverse osmosis desalination. Desalination, or the removal of salts and other minerals from seawater, is essential for producing fresh water. One of the methods used for this process is seawater reverse osmosis, or SWRO, a filtration method that removes many types of large ions by applying pressure to one side of a selective membrane. During the assembly of these membranes, a lubricant is needed to seal the O-rings <clears throat> from the highly pressurized water that connects between the membranes. Our customer was facing a challenge <clears throat> with, with the previously used material, a lithium-based grease with EP additives. This material lacked the necessary certification and approvals for food and water contact, leading to a problem for the customer. The customer is looking for a solution that was approved for various food and water certifications such as FDA 21, NSF 51, NSF 61, and the Water Regulations Advisory Scheme or WRAS. The Water Regulations Advisory Scheme is a conformance mark that demonstrates that an item complies with the highest standard uh, set by the UK's water regulation and bylaws. It was critical to find the customer lubricant that would both work well for sealing as well as have those necessary uh, certifications. After evaluation, the best suited product was found to be Mollycoat 111 compound. Mollycoat 111 compound is a common solution for O-ring lubrication and it does an excellent job at that. Uh, in addition, it also has the required food and water contact approvals and certifications. Um, it is designed to stay in place and resist uh, even the highly pressurized water, allowing for superior sealing and longevity. The solution involves applying the compound to the O-rings using a swab. This is a reliable and efficient method to ensure proper lubrication for sealing. Uh, we have the utmost confidence that Mollycoat 111 compound is the best solution for this customer. Now let's review the two products we've discussed in this presentation. 
First, we have the BR2 Plus High Performance Grease. This grease is known for its high load carrying capabilities. And due to its good oxidation resistance, it's well suited for long term lubrication as it doesn't easily degrade. It has good wear protection and protects against fretting corrosion, other forms of corrosion, and scarring as well. In addition, it resists water washout and stays in place without issue. You can see in the table some highlights of BR2's typical properties. It's worth noting that the BR2 also comes in a variety of different package sizes, including pails, cartridges, cans, drums, uh, which is very useful if you're trying to address specific application needs. Molly Coat 111 compound is a reliable lubricant and sealing compound designed and formulated with sealing uh, O-rings in mind. One of its key advantages is its food and water contact approval formulation, which ensures compliance with FDA 21 NSF 51, NSF 61, and the WRAS certifications that we discussed earlier in the presentation. Additionally, the compound is available in various package sizes, allowing for flexibility to meet different application requirements. You can see some of the typical properties for Molly Coat 111 compound in the table shown. It also boasts other fantastic properties, such as its dielectric capabilities and material compatibility. If you're ever interested in seeing any additional case studies that we put out, our website, mollycoat.com, has a resources um, tab at the top. And if you go into the resources tab, you can see case studies. And then as you proceed into case studies, you'll see a handful of different up-to-date um, new case studies, as well as some old ones for reference. Thank you.